Imagine being a runner participating in the 5K race at the second annual Paul and Lisa D'Angelo Family Foundation Independence Day charity event. You wipe some sweat from your eyes and then see a 6'5", 340-pound gentleman pass you by very quickly. You say to your friend Joe, that's former NFL first-round draft pick Vernon Carey, Henna. I do a lot of running in my um, retirement life now that I'm retired from football, but um, yeah, it was it was it was difficult. You know, it's, it's a lot of different hills here. I'm from South Florida. It's kind of flat there, so being here in um, Pennsylvania, it's a lot more hills. Carrie and Ronnie Brown, another former first-round pick, were teammates on the Miami Dolphins. Now they're retired, and they were in Hazleton to do more than just stay in shape. They were signing autographs and helping their friends the D'Angelos raise money for youth sports groups in the Hazleton area, autism support organizations, children's cancer research, and disabled veterans. That's what it's about, be able to give back, help one another, teach one another about giving back and you know, spread that love and that joy amongst you, one another in this world and make it a better place. As an athlete, guys are no different than the every everyday person. You just get a chance to see them do their job on TV. And so we're regular people as well. We have communities that we grew up in. We've had people that have shaped and have molded us. And so, you know, trying to pay that forward is, is a huge part of a lot of people. You know, and a lot of guys that we don't get to see behind the scenes when guys do things like this or support. And so to be able for me as an individual to come support this, you know, I didn't grow up in Pennsylvania. <laughs> so I'm a long way from home, but someone asked me to come and, you know, I can have an impact on someone here or there. Um, it's important. Okay, you're back on the 5K course now. Your buddy Joe left you in the dust. You're really thirsty, and Hazleton Area High School quarterback Tyler Wolf tosses you in ice cold water. Usually, Wolf is teaming up with Cougars wide receiver Connor Shimani to burn defenses. Today, they're volunteering their time to keep everyone cool and hydrated. Yeah, I mean, it's a great event. I mean, you get to talk to people that you might not see, and then they might come to our games. Like, if we support the community, they'll help support us when we need them. Over the last three years, we went from pretty much no one at our games to packing the stands on a Friday night. And, you know, that really makes you feel a part of the community. Uh, but, you know, events like this, that makes, you know, us be a part of the community even more. Hazleton area head coach Dennis Bookman has made helping out in the community a priority for the program. Cougar players can be seen at a number of events, including one hosted by the Valley Chiefs Youth Football Organization. The Valley Chiefs, they, they put on a, uh, a flag football league for, for five weeks in the month, the end of April and the month of May, and we wanted our, our players to be there. And They officiated the games, they were some of the referees of the games, and being able just to create that communication, um, especially with those, those kids at the younger levels is so important too, not, not in terms of necessarily all about you know the the schematics and fundamentals but just looking at, at these older guys now and how to carry yourself how to be respectful how, how to be able to continue to not only put a, a solid product on the field but be a great person off the field as well the refreshing water from the cougar football players helps you pick up your pace for a bit but as you approach the finish line of the 5k race you're struggling again your legs are heavy and you want to give up but then you see two Philadelphia Eagles cheerleaders leading a crowd that's cheering you on. Jamie Gialoretto is a lifelong Eagles fan. Her family has had season tickets to see the birds since the 1950s. Now she watches every home game from the best seat in the house. But that's not her favorite thing about being an Eagles cheerleader. She says the best part is being ambassadors for the team and helping out special causes. Plus, she gets to inspire a whole new generation to do the same, like young cheerleaders from the Hazleton area, Bella Lee and Malia DeCosmo. Yeah, where are you a cheerleader at? Amory School of Dance. Very cool. What have you learned? I mean, what's a, can you tell me a cheerleading term? What have you learned from Amory about, about cheerleading? A back walkover. Now, what is that? Describe that to me. You go back and then you kick over. So you do it backwards, like over your head. You could do that? What's the team like? Are you guys a lot of fun? Are you very serious? What's this cheerleading school? What's this team like? Uh, that it's fun and sometimes you have to be serious sometimes, but most of the time you have to have fun. What did you do today and what was the best part of today? Um, got my autograph signed. Alright, so do you think that was your favorite part? Yeah. Who, did, who, who over there? Who did you talk to? I mean, was it the cheerleaders? Who did you think, wow, this is pretty cool, I'm meeting them. 
the cheerleaders. Yeah. What advice do you give when you do talk with younger people? My advice is to really follow your passions. I never thought that I'd be dancing professionally, cheering professionally, and it's happening for me. I think when you follow your passions and follow your heart, life will lead you where you're supposed to be. So work hard, stay humble, and be kind to others, and you'll end up where you're meant to be. Now that you're done with your 5K race, you grab some food and bump into the founder of the Paul and Lisa D'Angelo Family Foundation, local businessman, Paul D'Angelo Sr. You tell him how nice it was to see some local athletes helping out at the event and how you remember them from when they were playing youth sports in the area. Last year, um, a good percentage of our money went to youth sports and I feel that there's a big need there and our family is filling that, that void that exists. Uh, those programs, some of them were on the verge of, of not being in existence. And I can't tell you how important it is, from my opinion, that uh, children get involved in programs like that. I think it really has a positive influence on their life, which, again, in, in our time, we'd like to have you know our, our ability to influence the world in a positive way. And again, it's not the whole world, but it's a little piece of it. But it's our piece here in Northeastern Pennsylvania that we love. You ask D'Angelo what makes NEPA so special. It's the pizza, right? He tells you a story that involves the two former NFL players you met earlier. Last night they, they were having some local pizza and they were having a debate over which one was better. Uh, so from this area, you know, if it's not Jimmy's hot dogs, it's definitely pizza. So, so um, they like the flavor. Uh, they, they really enjoy the people. You know, what, one of the things that all of them have said to me that I've talked to is they can't believe how nice and caring the people are in this part of Pennsylvania. It's really something special that we have here that other folks in other areas of the country don't have. So, you know, we really should cherish what we've got here. And that's, that's really special. You nod your head and get ready to make your way to your car. That's when you find out you want an autographed football helmet. It's been quite a day and you can't wait to come back next year. It's all about the involvement. Once you get the excitement and the involvement of people, it, it, it builds and it grows. Like the idea was to create something that would really start to get more people. So now remember these young folks that are here today, 10 years from now, they're gonna be here as they grow up and say, I'm going to that, that event on Independence Day at the community park in Hazleton. This is a big event. For SSP TV Sports, I'm Ken Kara. Sports on SSP TV News is brought to you by the Lehigh Valley Health Network.